Hello learner, greetings of the day. Let us discuss about characters. How to display different type of characters on the display window. So we will see about it. What are the OpenGL functions that are required to display with these type of characters? Even that we are going to see here. We have two types of characters or in two ways we can display the characters in OpenGL. One is stroke characters, the other one is bitmap characters. You can note the difference over here. Stroke characters are almost smooth or you can uh, see here this is an X that is displayed. X is an alphabet and the X is displayed by just taking two lines. So two lines are displayed here. So how exactly the alphabet is created here? It is with the help of basic geometric primitive. And here with the help of lines we have displayed a character and that is X. So if I want to display say here A, A, I'm, again I'm going to use the same line to draw A. So the two lines I'm going to draw and then a uh, uh, again uh, this is how I display a character or an alphabet A with the help of lines. So here uh, you can see the bitmap type of character. Here how the A is displayed. You can just see the screen here. It's a display window which is divided in the form of grid. And each block here represents a pixel. And every pixel here we consider it as a bit okay so when the pixel is not selected we consider it as bit of zero when i select a pixel i consider it as bit on so you can just see here a character is displayed with the help of bits with the help of series of bits so here uh, multiple uh, you can say the bit pattern is considered and then that is how we display the character so we will just see here the open gel function to display the stroke characters and bitmap characters first we have our stroke character we have an opengl function to display the character as it is uh, without any uh, making use of any display list we can display the character here so glut, glut stroke character is a function which uh, by passing the proper parameters to this function we can directly display any alphabets you can see here the first parameter that you pass to glut stroke character would be the type the font style so the font style when i say it can be times roman okay so there are different uh, styles right so one example for uh, style font style is glut stroke roman and then glut stroke mono roman so any of this style you can use here as a first parameter the second parameter is the character that you want to display so when i say character not directly passing you can directly you can just pass the ascii value of the character so which character you want to display you can pass the ascii value of that and the ascii uh, that is uh, ranging from 32 to 127 and the font style you can pass it is glut stroke roman or glut stroke mono roman so this is a function call and here you can see very clearly there is no display list made use of okay so here uh, directly the character is displayed and since i am displaying the character with the help of some basic primitives i can also apply basic transformations onto this prim primitives you can see the line is drawn a slant line is drawn so what did i do there i can apply the transformation on this line and the transformation that i applied here is rotation so i can orient the line about an angle i can orient this line about a specific angle and again i can orient this line about a specific angle so transformation also i can apply on a uh, this particular stroke character so that is how I can display several all the alphabets in OpenGL. Here I have the next type of character that is bitmap character. So the OpenGL function used to display the bitmap character is glut bitmap character and you pass the parameter here as usual that is the font style. So which is the font style you can use here 
uh, the font style is shown in the next slide and the next one is the character as the code you can specify that is 32 to 127 any value you can specify as a second parameter okay the first parameter should be font style and the font style is standard and which is shown there few font styles in the next slide here also you can see no display list is made use but remember unlike your stroke character bitmap character on bitmap character we cannot apply any geometric transformation like rotation translation and scaling we cannot apply anything why because here we make use of a bit pattern bits zeros and ones here i'm not making use of any basic primitive as such right so here uh, apart from this little glut bitmap character we can also specify a position just before displaying the character so before you call glut bitmap character i can call one more open jail function to specify a position like where exactly this character has to be displayed on the screen so what is open jail function to specify the position on the screen that is glut raster position glut raster position this is a function which actually fixes a position on the display window and on that position actually this glut bitmap i mean bitmap character is displayed okay similarly i have a one more function called glut bitmap width so here if i want to increase the size of the character or alphabet that is displayed i can make use of this function glut bitmap width so you well, likewise you can vary the size of characters you can increase or decrease the size of character with uh, this function glut bitmap width as i already said as i already said we have several uh, font styles that could be used as the first parameter for glut bitmap character one is as glut bitmap 8 by 13 so you can see here this is the uh, uh, size or you can say eight rows eight pixels along uh, row and 13 pixels along column can be selected uh, in order to display the particular character here with this style glut bitmap 8 by 13 next glut bitmap 9 by 15 you can make use this uh, a set of pixel you can make use then glut times roman you can make use glut times roman 24 you can make use glut helvetica bitmap helvetica bitmap helvetica 12 10 12 18 these are all the font size with the font style okay font size with font style you can specify here uh, with the glut bitmap character so glut bitmap character uh, example is shown over here Now let's move on to the next important concept that is programming event driven input. So this is exam this is important exam point of view as well. So here an ex here a question you will definitely expect in the exam. So here uh, programming event driven input. So what is it? Event driven means what? Some event is occurring and as per that event occurred, you have to write a corresponding action to that event in the program. So here programming event driven means you write an OpenGL program and in through an OpenGL program you call a function and wait for an event to occur. Call a function, wait for an event to occur and once the event occurs you get a written value to that function in, in the form of a measure you get a written value after the event occurs and as per that written value you specify a corresponding action in the program so what is it event driven here in opengl program we will see it the first event driven program is using pointing device so pointing device when i say immediately a mouse comes to your mind so what is actually a mouse there mouse has three buttons left button right button and middle button right so left button right button and middle button so i can perform several action with the mouse what is it i can click the mouse button i can simply uh, move the mouse button without clicking or else i can click the mouse button and then drag throughout the screen so these are the three actions that i can perform with the mouse one is simply clicking the button one more is simply moving the mouse button one more is click and without releasing the mouse button you are dragging the mouse on the screen so these are the three actions or uh, three events that could be occurred with the mouse so whenever these events are occurring with the mouse i can perform certain action so i can specify some action to these events in my opengl program so how to specify the actions or how to define this mouse function so how to identify the uh, event that has occurred uh, in the mouse by the mouse so that event occurrence should be identified in the program so how is it done so we will see with the help of an example so as i already said simply moving the mouse uh, without clicking is uh, something called as 
without clicking the button simply moving the mouse is called a passive event and then click and release or simply click and then drag the mouse you call it as an active event or a move event so move event is that and passive event is without clicking you simply move the mouse okay so in in OpenGL, we have a function uh, to identify such mouse event. Okay, so whenever a mouse click, uh, have, uh, a mouse click occurs, or whenever a click, uh, a mouse click and move event occurs, and simply moving the mouse whenever it occurs. So actually, we have an OpenGL function to identify all these events. So glut mouse function is one such callback function. So this is called automatically when you click the mouse button. When you click the mouse button, this function is called. So this is a move event and this is an active event. So click mouse function. And immediately when such event occurs, whenever the mouse click occurs there, you call this function and you pass a user defined function as a parameter. And that user defined function, you call it as mouse callback function. And you can just see here uh, what happens when you call this mouse callback function this mouse function so the user defined function i said automatically for this function few values are returned when these values are returned for this function that is when the mouse click event occurs so whenever i click the mouse button so automatically few values are returned to this function so what is that the first value is which button has been clicked so whenever I click a mouse button, I can click left button, middle button or right button. So which among them the button is clicked? Which button among them is clicked? So that is the first uh, parameter that is written. Next, status of the button. So always for, for some action to happen, the button status should be pressed. It should not be released, right? The button status should be pressed. So you have a status of the mouse. One is down and one more is up. Down indicates pressed state. Up indicates release state. Okay. So status can be up or down. And then the next two parameters that is written is the position. X, Y coordinate on the screen. So that position wherever you have clicked is, is here represented. So these are the four parameters that is written whenever a mouse click event occurs. And this is an OpenGL function to recognize that mouse click event. So you can just see a small example of a function here. So void mouse function. So which button, int button, and the status of the button is written, and then x, y position is written. Now you check the condition and then accordingly specify the action for it. So check the condition. What is it? For us to specify the action, some condition should be true. What is that? You first check which button is clicked. If it is left button, middle button, or right button. So if left button is clicked, and along with that logical hand if the status of the button is down glut down so what is the meaning of that that means you should press the button so if both the conditions are true then you perform this action so what is that action simply here i have not specified any action i have called exit function that means whenever a user presses left button you should come out come out of the screen that means you have to exit the screen so this is the action i have uh, specified here for this event so I'll give a, an example OpenGL program for this mouse event. We'll see what is it. So you can just see here one example I'm giving here. Uh, it is something like whenever you click a mouse button, a box should be drawn. Wherever you have clicked the mouse button on the screen, at that position itself, a box should be drawn. So this is an example. You have to write an OpenGL program for performing this action. So what is it? Whenever on the screen I click a mouse button, so at that position itself, a box should be drawn okay and then when i'm going to come back or come out of the screen come out of it so you have to exit the screen when the middle button is pushed so these are the two actions you have to uh, uh, specify for these two events one event is pressing a mouse button and the action corresponding action for that is drawing a box at that position second event is pressing a middle button and then the action corresponding action is terminating from the screen exit from the screen We will see the example OpenGL program now for that. We will write the OpenGL program. So here we will start from the main. 
so the first function is as it is glutenate to develop an interaction between the glut and the window system next we are initializing the buffers single buffer is enough because no animation is required as such then the color buffer i'm initialized then i'm creating the window so directly glut create window i'm using because i'm not specifying any position or i'm not specifying any uh, size so by default my entire screen is considered as display window here so glut create window i'm doing i'm, I'm specifying a title called square for my window next i'm calling a function called my in it we will see that this function will contain all leaving parameters so definition is shown in the next slide next i have a callback function called glut reshape function so this is a very important callback function see this function works whenever i resize my display window what is the meaning of display window resizing see you can perform an action called uh, like maximizing the screen with screen or minimizing the screen or then uh, you know uh, increasing the size of the screen in horizontal direction increasing the size of the screen in the vertical direction so all these you call it as window event so whenever you perform such window event like resizing minimizing and all that so the graphics displayed inside that window inside the screen also should be resized accordingly right so whenever you maximize the screen your graphics inside the uh, display window also should be adjusting to the newly resized window so that adjustment of graphics with the display window you are doing with this reshape function we will see the definition of this my reshape function shortly so here we are interested in this callback function what is it glut mouse function and you have to pass a parameter and that parameter is a function name which i am going to define now shortly so glut mouse function you are calling from the main so so next important function that you call from the main is glut display function so inside the display function actually you can define what all the primitives that you want to display so here what i want to display exactly i want to simply display a box and wherever i click the mouse on the screen that position itself i want to draw the box right so you can uh, call that box function inside this display drawing the box inside display display or else if you don't want to call that inside the display you can directly call that i mean drawing of box can be defined inside mouse function also we will see that shortly so like i already explained about the reshape function we will uh, discuss about that reshape function in detail shortly so here, here uh, within the display function uh, i can define the uh, graphics so what is the graphics that i want to display on my display window here it is simply a small box that i want to display whenever a mouse click occurs right so that box is nothing but a polygon that i want to display you can write a small code for defining drawing a polygon here inside display or else if you don't want it to define here inside the display then you can simply keep it blank it is left to you okay it's optional so you can simply call display function and keep it blank now you can just see here the my init function so before my init function i have defined few parameter so what is it window width and window height i have specified so what is the window width and window height i have taken it as 500 and 500 so 500 pixels along horizontal direction and 500 pixels along vertical direction i can display on my screen so 500 by 500 is my display window width and height so size of the window display window i have taken i mean not display window i'm sorry i have defined one more parameter called size and that parameter is used to define the size of the box that you are displaying size of the polygon that you're displaying and i've taken it as three okay remember this and this entire minute function now is defined you can just see the very first function is drawing a viewport inside the display window so what is the viewport there i have already explained what is viewport in my previous video you can go through that see if this is a computer screen if this is a computer screen i have i can i have already created a window called square inside that by default i had taken the size of that as entire screen size now i am going to take a width and height of the uh, window as 500 and 500 now in, inside your display window inside your screen i have taken one region called um, viewport okay so that viewport is the one which you can adjust so which you can adjust so by default the viewport size also will be equal to the size of the 
entire screen so i have taken the viewport size here as w width and height so how much is the viewport width and viewport height 500 by 500 okay so uh, what you can see here is if your screen size what you're taking is equal to the display window size inside your display window i'm taking one region and that region is like width 500 and height 500 and that region you call it as v port so you can see one small rectangle i have drawn inside the display window that portion is taken as 500 width and 500 height now where do i place that v port exactly one position i have defined for that and that position is 0 comma 0 you can see the first two parameters indicates the position of the viewport so what is that position 0 comma 0 i'll place this viewport here exactly at the top left corner which is 0 comma 0 so height and width is 500 by 500 and exactly here on the top left it is the position 0 comma 0 for the viewport so entire screen is my display window but viewport is a adjustable window you can call now next what i've specified matrix mode should be set to projection then the first matrix of always should be identity matrix that you call before you define your clipping rectangle my clipping rectangle is defined here within glu ortho 2d function and what are the parameters of your clipping window it's always in order l r b t so what is l r b t of clipping rectangle if i assume one rectangle as my clipping rectangle left is zero and then bottom is zero, zero. so you can see left is zero then bottom is 0 so left to bottom value is 0 in the clipping rectangle and then top is uh, 500 and uh, right is also 500 so it is something like this I will draw one rectangle then bottom left here this position I am going to take it as 0 comma 0 then top right position is this one which i'm going to take it as 500 comma 500 so your rectangle that is clipping rectangle size is defined and uh, it is defined with the help of glu ortho 2d okay so this is done next i'm going to set back my matrix mode to the default mode that is model view now i'm going to set my background color and all the values here is zero which indicates a black background i'm setting and here last value is zero which indicates that my display window is transparent next i'm going to erase all the contents of the buffer whatever i had uh, set everything will be erased here through gl clear function so gl flush is a function which i'm going to call to move all the pixels from the buffer to the display window okay I have now the next important function so what is that function here I have already called a function called clat mouse function from the main wherein I had called within that a parameter at pass called mouse so you can see whenever a mouse click event occurs for me the few parameters are returned one is which button is clicked next status of the button then XY position where it is clicked on the screen so you can just assign an action to this event so check the condition before assigning the action condition should be check whether you have clicked a particular button so if you are expecting left button if you are assigning action to left button then check if the left button is pressed so if left button is pressed and if the status of the button is down so if both the conditions are true then you have to call a function draw square so we will see what is defined within draw square now okay so now the mouse click event has occurred zoom and whenever that mouse click event has occurred you are checking this condition so for few values are returned so check the condition accordingly and now you are ready to assign an action so what is the action now call draw square what was the problem there whenever you click the mouse on the screen at that position itself you are supposed to draw a box so box is nothing but which is in square shape so now that was a problem that was a question asked so now I'm going to draw the square at which position at this mouse clicked position itself X comma Y at this position I'm going to draw the square you can now see the draw square function so here the position where the mouse is clicked that is also returned and now you can see that mouse click position I'm going to flip so what is this very first line this is very important on the screen see if i'm taking my display window is this one it's display window say this is my computer screen i've taken one v port right so what was that v port width and height was 500 500 and the position for the v port i taken as top left corner suppose i click the mouse somewhere on the screen 
somewhere outside the screen i am going to click on the mouse so what happens when i click the uh, somewhere outside the screen first thing is i should identify that whether i have clicked somewhere outside the viewport if i have clicked somewhere outside the viewport can i draw the box here outside the viewport no not possible all graphics whatever i want to display it should be inside the viewport only it should be inside this region and if i go outside the boundary that that means if i click the mouse button somewhere outside the boundary at, at that position i cannot draw anything i should discard that position right so here you are checking that condition so what is that width height uh, so sorry window height so what is this window height window height is given by 500 so that is the maximum boundary if you click the mouse somewhere outside so you check with the maximum boundary so okay if that position is within that boundary or not if the click to position is outside the boundary then you get the answer here as negative that means what your y value that you have clicked will be greater than your height so that is 500 right it will be greater than 500 so in that case uh, the value that you are uh, returning here y value will be Mm, uh, you can say negative. So with a negative y value, I cannot do anything. So your mouse click position should be exactly inside the viewport. So if I click somewhere inside, your y value will be less than uh, 500. So that is what you are checking here. Okay. Mm, and then now uh, we will just assign a color. So usually we uh, use a function called gl color 3f. But here gl color 3 ub is a function that that I am calling. What is ub? It is unsigned byte. so instead of directly specifying rgb i am uh, assigning the color in a different way so using a random function so random color i am assigning for a box that i am going to draw see whenever i click a mouse button so at that position say one box should be drawn and that box should get one color and that random color i am assigning to each box that you are displaying on the screen suppose now i click the mouse somewhere here nearer a different color box should be drawn same size but different color or uh, box should be drawn so next position again different color box should be drawn so random color i'm assigning so random color i can assign using rand function and take a modular through for, from by uh, 256 one so what is this 256 rgb range can vary from 0 to 256 okay so beyond 256 you cannot go this is upper limit that i'm assigning so random color i'm assigning for each box that you're drawing so here is the exact code which defines the box so polygon i am taking as as a primitive and now i am defining the vertex for the polygon polygon square contains four vertices so four times you have to call this gl vertex function and you can just see here size i had already assigned the value i had assigned size for size was 3 so x is a position that you're going to take where you are clicking and at that position you add this size x plus 3 so what is that the position x value x coordinate of that position plus the size y coordinate of that position plus size so at that position that x coordinate you add 3 and y also coordinate also you add 3 and then uh, you draw that particular vertex okay so dra draw that particular vertex once that is drawn go to the next vertex say what is that x the next vertex that you are drawing so it is something like this suppose i have clicked over here Uh, I have clicked over here. So and that uh, value, what I wherever I have clicked, if suppose it is a ten comma ten or something, where I have clicked, it is ten comma ten. So the next point that I am going to draw is uh, x plus size. What is that? Ten plus three. So the vertex that I am going to draw here is ten plus three. X coordinate is here, and then ten plus three again is my uh, uh, y coordinate. So ten plus three is here. Next again for y coordinate, if I'm adding ten plus three, somewhere over here it will come. So my first position of the box would be here. You're getting. If you are not understanding, I will just draw quadrant. Suppose I'll fix a position for my mouse click. I'll have clicked over here. And what is this position? Say that position is given by five comma five. And now I am fixing one size called three. I mean that size is defined by three. So here position is x comma y, where I have clicked is five comma five. Now the first vertex that I am going to draw for my box would be five plus three. What is it? Eight. 
x coordinate y coordinate also is 5 plus 3 how much it is 8 so where is 8 comma 8 see that 8 comma 8 would be somewhere over here so this is my first vertex of the box 8 comma 8 so what is the next one x minus size so what is x coordinate you have to take the same value x coordinate is 5 5 minus 3 how much is 5 minus 3 it is 2 so 5 minus 3 is 2 and what is y value y plus size 5 plus 3 is 8 so at the same height i am drawing one more point what is it x coordinate this time it is 2 2 comma 8 2 comma 8 is my second vertex that i am drawing so this became 2 comma 8 the first vertex was 8 comma 8 8 comma 8 done now what would be the next vertex x minus size comma y minus size third vertex so 5 minus 3 comma 5 minus 3 2 comma 2 so where is that 2 2 comma 2 so 2 is here x coordinate same level it should come and y is now shifted down that is 2 so 2 comma 2 is over here so the third vertex became 2 comma 2 now the fourth vertex i am drawing what is it x plus size it is 8 comma y minus size is 2 so 8 comma 2 so 8 is see here over here x here it was 8 so same level 2 value 2 y coordinate is 2 here it should be at the same level 2 so am i drawing a box now by keeping this position as the center 5 comma 5 as center yes so here a box is drawn or in other words what is it a polygon is drawn over here by, by taking these four vertices this is how a polygon is drawn so here end it so a random color is assigned to this polygon so then you call gl flash immediately all the pixels will be forced onto the display window and that is how a square is drawn on the screen okay so this function draw a square is called once when you click a mouse button if you go on clicking so the next time when you click again this draw square function is called this time a new color is taken and a new box is drawn with the new position okay so this is how your squares multiple squares are drawn with a multiple mouse click function